What about this issue of forced marriage? Forced marriage, where Muslim men are forcing their daughters to get married to who they want them to get married to. This is un-Islamic. This is cultural. This is cultural. This is un-Islamic. There's nothing in Islam called forced marriage. Those who are doing it are doing it based on their tribal, ethnic, cultural practices. How is the father going to force his daughter to marry somebody? I mean, she don't even know this guy. But because that's his cousin, or that's the son of his brother, or that's his family, that's somebody, for the guy, he, they Bangladeshi, so he, they, she, they don't take her to Bangladesh and force her to marry, and then after they get married, give him a card where he can come back. No, no, no. This is oppressive. This is repressive. This is un-Islamic. Also, it's unconstitutional. As a matter of fact, I think that in New Zealand, it is also against the law. I think that in the UK, it's against the law. In America, it's against the law. And it should be against the law. Because nobody has the right to do that. However, if a father has a daughter that is 16 and he thinks that she's a little bit um, active and, you know, she's already kind of like looking at boys and boys looking at her and they interact in SMS messages and blah, blah, all that kind of stuff going on. He said, hold it, wait a minute now. I can't, she ain't going to last in no uni. The, you know, before the uni, before she, before she finished the uni, there might be something else going on. So he said, look, I'm going to make some arrangements right now. So he begins to make an arrangement for his daughter to get married. And he says to her, listen, there's a young man that I met. He's working. I know his family. And I think it would be good to, for you to marry him. This is not a forced marriage. This is called an arranged marriage. So her parents and his parents arrange for them to be married. And those people, they agree. Those young people agree. And so the young girl, she goes to live with his parents. Or they, he comes to live with her parents. Because they're young. They're still in school. This is called an arranged marriage. Islam says nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong. Why? Because the arrangement was done out of the protection of the children and out of the, the, the well-being and the, by the consent and everything of the parents. But Islam says when that girl becomes herself an adult and she don't like that marriage because she couldn't make all the choices, she couldn't look into the whole background, she don't like it. She wake up one day and say, look, this ain't the right guy. Oh, he's not really working. He was working, but he's not working now. He doesn't want to go to school. I finished school. This guy, you know, want to sweep the streets and hang out in the streets. I'm going to become a doctor. It's not going to work. She has the right to annul that marriage. That's what Islam says. So we say that's fair. She got married out of the consent, I mean, out of the will of her parents, out of the concern of her parents, to protect her, to protect the honor of the family and everything. But when she gets to become an adult, she can make her own decisions and she can do what? She can annul that marriage. So there is no forced marriage in Islam.